I'm Chad from Chad DIY. Today's project is a rustic end table. The dimensions are 22 inches wide by 23 inches long and it's about 2 feet tall. But you can make it whatever dimensions you want. So let's get started. First I'll start by cutting in all the wood pieces. I'll need four 23 inch legs as well as four 17 inch 2x4s and two 14 inch 2x4s. Next I'll rip the two 14 inch 2x4s into 2x2s on the table saw. I will now need to add pocket holes to the 14 inch and the 17 inch pieces so I can attach everything together. Now I will start putting everything together. I'll start by attaching the 17 inch 2x4 to one of the legs. I'm using a 3 inch block of wood to make sure everything is aligned correctly. Here's a better angle of the screws getting driven in. Now I will attach the 14 inch 2x2 to the side of one of the wooden squares. I will repeat this step until I have all four 14 inch pieces. Now you can really see the shape of the box starting to take form. I will start making the bottom of the end table. I am ripping down two 2x12s to make the wooden shelf. I am going to adjust my Craig jig to make the 3 quarter inch pocket holes. This is really simple to do. I am just following the guide marks on the drill bit and then on the base of the jig as well. Once I have the jig set up, I can start making all of the pocket holes. Now I will screw the two boards together to form the shelf. To screw the shelf in, I am simply just feeling the top edges to make sure everything is flush and then adding a screw. I will do this to every side until the shelf is secure. Next I will start making the decorative cross pieces. I will mark where they need to be cut and then take them over to the miter saw. I will make my 45 degree angle cuts and then start attaching everything. To attach the cross pieces I am just using some wood glue and some 2 inch brad nails. I will start building the top which is made out of four 2x6's that are 23 inches long. I 
I'll just use a pencil to mark where I want all my pocket holes to go. Now it's back to the Craig jig to make all my pocket holes. I'm just going to use some two and a half inch jig screws to attach the four boards together. Once everything's attached, I'm just going to finish it off with some 220 grit sandpaper. Now I will attach the top. I'm just using a ruler to make sure there's a one inch reveal around all the edges. Once I'm satisfied, I'll start adding clamps and then I'll also start screwing everything together with two and a half inch screws. I'm using Craig screws which are self tapping so I don't have to worry about pre-drilling any holes first. Now I can start staining. I'm using a dark walnut stain from Minwax. I'm just brushing the stain on with a foam brush and then wiping it off with a clean rag. Next day I'm going to add a coat of semi-gloss polyurethane. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's project. If you did, I hope you hit that like button. As always, please subscribe. Thanks.